everybody, it's Rachel again, Community Programs Manager at WRI. Uh, have you noticed that the arrowleaf balsam root is starting to turn to seed? And have you been able to find any morels after these wonderful spring rains? Well, this week for episode 4, we have another guest naturalist, Jennifer Hattersberger, who's going to take us down to the river for a riparian plant species this week. Enjoy! botany classes at Wenatchee Valley College and I've teamed up with Wenatchee River Institute to teach you about the red osier dogwood which is a shrub that I'm standing next to. For those of you that may know the scientific name is Cornus sericea and I'm going to talk about a couple of different ways that you can identify this plant. In the winter when the leaves are gone you can see that it has a red stem and you'll notice that the branches come off opposite of each other and it has the same branching pattern with the leaves. So if we take a look at the leaves, actually let's look at this one. You can see that the leaves come off the plant opposite of each other. And I'm gonna just pick one leaf so we can look at it up close and talk about the leaf characteristics. You notice the leaf veination, those are the veins. That's what transports the water, sugars, and nutrients throughout the plant. And it's a pretty distinctive pattern on the leaves. And the cool thing about red osier dogwood is if you pull the leaf apart, you can actually see the veins stretching, that white stretchy stuff. That's the cells within the plant that spread the water, sugar, and nutrients throughout the plant. And that is only happens in this species of dogwood. So it's a good little test to see if you are indeed looking at a red osier dogwood. And then the flowers are not quite out for this year, but you can see they're starting to form and they will be white flowers coming out probably in the next few weeks to a month. So go out, take a walk. You're gonna find this plant growing in kind of wet areas, next to streams, next to rivers. In fact, we're standing down here at Barn Beach. So this would be a good place to come and look for this plant if you wanted to go for a walk and look for red osier dogwood. So I hope you're having a great spring and I'll see you soon. Thanks Jennifer for that neat look at red osier dogwood. We invite you all to head down to the river to see if you can find this plant for yourself. And we'll see you for the next episode of the Plant ID mini-series.